A visitor to Trafalgar Square around 70 years ago would have seen a very different place to the one we are used to today. The statues were surrounded by sandbags. There were surface air raid shelters in the square. Large morale boosting hoardings stood at the base of Nelson's column. There were military parades, speeches and fundraising events. On occasion there were even Lancaster bombers and tanks parked by Nelson's column. Overlooking it all then as now was the National Gallery. The way it responded to the challenges that war presented was to change its profile in the national consciousness forever. This extraordinary story covers the secret exodus of the National Gallery paintings from London on the eve of war. The worst days of the Blitz on London and its damage to the gallery. The morale boosting Myra Hess concerts. And the collection's secret wartime hiding place, far from London under a Welsh mountain. <laughs>